All right. We're here on Monday morning. We've been having some good conversation about some of the styles that we, you know, we teach and we are going over and some of the fighters that have been pronounced to being the best at doing these styles. So I have a question for you guys out here. And I also have a question for these guys who've actually been working and training in these styles. So my first question is, who wins this matchup? The best peekaboo style or <laughs> the best Philly Shell style? So the difference is, is the the peak of the Philly shell is the best defensive skill set that you can use whenever you have the right tools to use it because the guys who've had the best defensive records are guys like Sweet Pea who used it, guys like the Matthew Saad Muhammad's who used it in spots, um, Jersey Joe Walcott's, all of the guys who use the Philly shell um, were masters at doing it, Georgie Benton. Uh, you got uh, the mongoose who was just, you know, he, he turned it into the bam and then passed it down to George Foreman. So these guys who use the shell-like skill are masters. And you got Bernard Hopkins, best defense in the world, Philly shell, hands down. If you think different, drop your comments down below. But the most electrifying and most illest offensive prowess you can ever offer up in the ring is the peekaboo style. So, question is, the better peekaboo style wins or the best defense counterpunch skill set wins in the Philly Shell? And we got Mr. Philly Shell here and we got Mr. Peekaboo style right here. So, turned up the 10. Both skills, which one wins? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You got to say it. Everybody got to weigh in. You guys got to weigh in. Let me know where you're from. I'll at your boy. Peekaboo versus the Philly Shell. Of course, the classic boxer style is in the building. And the quick slick boxer. We got them all types, sizes, and shapes. But the two that stand above in mainstream America, globally, because you guys out in Canada are looking and screaming for the peekaboo, and then you got the guys over here who want to learn how to do the Philly Shell and out in Aussie, down under the Australian world. So, what's good? Woo, you got the camera, son. <laughs> Philly, tell me why, tell me why Philly Shell can do something with the peekaboo or vice versa, whatever, whatever you got to lay in. Oh, man. Uh, How do you handle the, the peekaboo style? Oh, man. I, I kind of lost words. From That's that Mr. Oh, Philly Shell right there. Go, oh. there look, look, go down here, go oh. down below, and look at the skills this oh. boy possesses in the Philly Shell. All right? Then you holler at your boy. Good. If you're watching this in a, in a boxing group, you better go to Facebook, Master Boxing Page, and go down here and look at Mr. Philly Shell. Defense man. is crazy. Pink boots down in Philly Shell style, man. <laughs> How do you stop them? How do you pop out? How do you stop them? I mean, nah. <laughs> Now, he's also used oh. some peekaboo tactics, so he knows how effective it can be, too. Right. So, you know, you guys holler at your boy. Coaches, <laughs> I want to see y'all weigh in. Coaches, fighters, if you've been a victim of the peekaboo style or if you've been a victim of the Philly shell, uh, drop it down. Say what your experience has been because that's what we're trying to do. We're going to weigh in, and like I said, the peekaboo style video is coming out, so we're going to really just kind of highlight it really good this next couple next few weeks coming up so um, as you see we got some tongue tie cats right here yeah, they can't I, figure it out this, I told you because it's a problem man. have you ever been in the ring with a dude let's just say like a Mike Tyson there are several guys in the lightweight division um, who are really vicious right now uh, they have those similar styles you're looking at Tank um, where he, he he's really using a lot of Floyd tactics but he's a natural peekaboo so believe me he gonna right unleash those venomous combinations because that's who he really is. He just happened to have the 
um, ability and the wherewithal to learn also some of the Philly Shell tactics. So if you got both of those to deal with, problems. <laughs> Go ahead, man. It's your floor. You got it. What you I, do? I, I, shoot, I really couldn't tell you. Yeah. So you got <laughs> you saying it's, it's, with your, your best Philly Shell can't stop a peekaboo? I mean, you got to be able to put the fire, put the water on the fire. So if you want to be him, just go learn a peekaboo. That's what he's I'm saying. Have, I'm, I'm going to have to say peekaboo. I'm, I'm going to be one. Oh. But it's, 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 it's just vicious. And it's vicious. I'm, I'm just like. You can't come sleeping if you got it. Yeah. You got to know all you the components of it. You can't come yeah. in and just do this and think that's it. It's right. components. And you can't sleep in the show neither because you will get kind of clean. Yeah. So. <laughs> You, no, you, you, you not, and you miss the Philly shell. I know. You so got to market I'm, yourself, boy. <laughs> you got to believe in yourself, boy. <laughs> Coaches, confidence. What did Anthony Joshua do before the fight? I knew he had more experience. I don't want to let him feel like he did. I went in there and owned it. You got to believe, son. 85% of fighting is this. Conditioning and all that stuff will happen if you got the ability to get up in the morning and go run. What you got? Give me some. Who wins? What's the best so, thing to tell? I'm going to keep it real. Ain't nobody seeing the peekaboo style, man. It's, there's too many different <laughs> angles. You can, you know, block and do what you got to do. But when you come in from different angles and you throw on hooks, and uppercuts, and all that, you don't even have the time as a normal human being to react to that. You got to be robotic, you know? That's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. You got to be like superhuman, man. For real. And well conditioned. But it, the conditioning for the peekaboo, the reason why it's so vicious to stop is because if the guy's conditioned and he knows all the layers and all the levels and tactics, man, it's just, it's vicious, no doubt. Y'all will get to see lots of different uh, clips of stuff that we put out here. And like I said, these guys are learning these things, not at the same time. Um, but objective is when you're focusing on one skill, it takes a duration of time. You know, we give you guys insight and show you clips, but man, they learning for hours and hours, day after day after day. Don't try it without all the techniques and all the skills and all the situational things that you'll have to have to master this thing. George, you ain't getting off the hook, man. What you doing? It's Mr. Peekaboo. What is this dude? He's up here chill. He chilling. You can't be chilling. This is your stuff. Y'all about to see this dude go rampant. You wait till they see his promos. It's bananas. Uh, of course, everybody said peekaboo. I almost said peekaboo too, but I'm not <laughs> going. I'm, I'm not going to leave this um, Philly shell out just because the Philly shell has is it's a style that give you the bravado to stand in the, in the middle of the fire. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah. the Philly share was, you were, st you were staying in front of the peekaboo. And if you're good enough, you, you, you're going to be able to yeah. deal with the peekaboo. <laughs> so good. But the peekaboo is so vicious. <laughs> yeah. The shifting, yeah. you know, yeah. you hear then you there. You hear then you there and there and there, you know. The, the, the one thing that, um, the Philly shell has is if you can withstand the storm, then you'll win. Yeah. Because the condition is, uh, is, <laughs> is, is, is so vicious. You have to have great conditioning. So the, on, for Philly shell to um, beat um, Pickaboo, you have to be able to um, yeah. withstand the storm. But I, I give it to Pickaboo just because... Um, it's just breaking up, breaking down the whole body, <laughs> like in f in five seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but you gotta have a conditioning. And make these points that you gotta have a conditioning, because there's a reason why it was Floyd Patterson and the next fighter that had the peekaboo style that was effective with it was Mike Tyson. That was 40 years later. Why? Because guys weren't learning the conditioning, or they were coming short on the skills teaching, and you can't come with a piece of it and hope. Primo's next. So we got a classic boxer, tall, rangy, skilled. Who would you rather not see is the question. Um, oh, as a classic boxer, I would rather not see <laughs> <laughs> a peekaboo fighter. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know he'll get on the inside. And, but, you know, luckily I know the Philly shell, so I can yeah. stay on the inside with him. Yeah. But head-to-head, -head, best Philly shell 
and and that's peekaboo. I'm gonna still go with peekaboo. Yeah. Just because it's so vicious and it's a more aggressive style. I really yeah. haven't seen a aggressive pit shell fighter. Yeah. It's more of a defensive counter uh, type of style. So yeah, peekaboo, yes, man. And so you guys are getting it right here from the horse's mouth. So you know. If you ain't coming now, if you don't come with everything, you're going to get picked to death with that Philly shell because the counterpunch and, and if they are guys who have natural aggressive styles, meaning they'll always throw their jab, then you're just going to get beat to death. Like the way you got guys like Floyd who, who will just jab you to death and Shane was able to say, hey, you know, the jab swole up my spine. It was hard to really recover from that. So... If you're gonna really decide to be a fighter and choose your style, you can go down a couple of videos to say, what's your style? How to know your real style? Watch that video. It's about, I think, seven minutes long. It really breaks down the effervescence of styles and knowing and learning how to develop or understand who you are. Because as a fighter, that's what it takes. Knowing who you are to transfer that into the ring the conditioning, consistency, and understanding how to feed and recover the body is important as well. So, like I said, I want you guys to drop down what style you feel like is the most effective, which one wins over the Philly Shell or the Peekaboo style. My name is Coach Eric Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This is Master Boxing. You'll get your master's degree in boxing. Make sure you subscribe to the site, like the page. Peace out.